We got a wild one. So Larry Chen's over here, and he's boasting about how he just got to go to King of the Hammers. Yes, hello. In a helicopter, of course. Of course. I mean, I could have stayed in there the whole time, enjoyed the AC. If we want to have lunch, we can land. But there's uh, AC in the helicopters? Yeah. Come on, Canada. What? Come on. Come on, Canada. Does this, does this man look like he's flying in a Huey in Vietnam? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Hammertown, which is a town made out of RVs and rigs. I think it's 50,000 people for one week, I mean, once a year. This is like desert racing Burning Man. Yeah. So we just got on the lake bed, 622. We're gonna pick up my buddy, pick up another Jeep from Casey Perry, and then I have to be at the Temp Media area at 640 to head to the helicopter. Look what we have here. What is this, a Bell Ranger? Yeah, uh, Long Ranger, yeah. Long Ranger. It's not like Dave's normal helicopter though, so there's a yeah. better chance of you dying today than normal. Thanks. Just got here at the helicopter landing spot, 7.30, race starts at 8. We'll be in the air for the first lap because there's pretty much no better way to follow this race. There goes my ride. All right, so they just dropped me off at remote pit here and I'm gonna find uh, Isle and Aaron and I'm gonna go chase the race from here. I followed the first lap from the air and it was so cool. Oh no! Now, now we're on the ground. So we're hearing on the radio now that uh, Casey is out of the Tony, race. Copy Paul. And uh, he, yeah, lost the, he lost the timing chain. They broke chain. the timing chain. We're gonna try to go find him. All right. So yeah, I, they're gonna I try to find that. Casey. We're gonna head back to Maine then but we're going to uh, try to catch the monster drivers at the first rock obstacle, which is Boulder Dash. Uh, it's gonna be crazy. Aaron's here helping us. Kyle, Wheelman, crazy copy. dude. All right. Tired? I need to catch my breath. <laughs> all right. I'm so out of shape for this. So we, I got all the monster drivers in the helicopter from uh, Shannon all the way to Bailey. Miss Shannon just here, got Waylon. Casey's out with timing chain problems. So now I'm just waiting for Bailey. And as soon as Bailey comes by, we're gonna head back down and go to Sledgehammer and try to cut off the leaders. It's gonna be sick, cause he's gonna get the shot, cause he's Larry. What the Hey. <laughs> I was looking through this camera and it said four photos left on the memory card out of a 128. That just shows you how much I shot from the helicopter. <laughs> I was just blasting away. Well, the race started at 8. It's 10.30. <laughs> Build up a 128 card already on this one camera. And that's one of the things is people wonder why I'm carrying three bodies all the time. Just from the car coming here to that hill, I'm using all three bodies. I got the 1635 F4 here, and I use my left hand to shoot that. My right hand is on the 35 just to get an overall shot of the scene. And then I switch to the long lens going up the hill just within seconds. There she is. So I checked the tracker and uh, they're a lot faster than I thought. We won't be able to get them at Sledge since we waited for Bailey. So we're gonna go to Aftershock now. Spot number two. We're rolling into the deep. What? All right, let's go.
Okay, so we just got to uh, Sledge and Jack. Um, they're coming down both, actually. So what they do is they come down here, they go to Chocolate, Thunder, and then they come down here. So if you want to catch the same people, we have to make it from there to there in like 15 minutes. Oh, they are? Rap. Yo, Hello. you good? Oh, I'm fantastic. What happened? Broken axle shafts. Oh no. You walked all the way down? No, I drove down there. But now I'm gonna find tools because I just broke my tools. Broke his tools. This is why this racing is so awesome. The best part is, especially through something like this, we could definitely walk faster than hey, the car. Let's and end of a shot. What's going on right now is we have Jason. We have Jason uh, up maybe like two miles or so to kind of give us a heads up on who's coming down. And then um, the very next obstacle, Lewis is heading there right now. So hopefully he can cut off uh, the cars. You know, if whatever, if we give him a heads up, you know, we can probably, he could probably cut off the cars down there. So all three of us are working kind of this section of the race right now. Look, we got a wild one. shoot like a sunset spot but like one of the things I like about this terrain is there's so much good foreground detail and background detail and like it's just so different looking versus pretty much any other kind of racing that I shoot so like when I'm trying to pick a spot you know just to make beauty shots something like this is perfect you know you have natural really nice foreground and then even though the car is moving slow, you're just kind of placing it into this beautiful background, you know, so just gonna have to sit here and wait for some cars to come by and kind of play around here with really no direction just to try to get the most pretty shot. So you finally got to the last spot and Poor Larry, right there, had to walk all the way back because he forgot a lens. All right, here we go. Last spot of the day. I don't even know how many spots we hit. It doesn't get any better than this. It really doesn't. So it's six. Been up for 12 and a half hours, but it's been pretty nonstop since I woke up. And uh, I definitely wouldn't have it any other way. Honestly, this is what it's about. I'm tired, everything hurts. My pelvis hurts from my cameras like hitting me like this. I fell more times than I could count. I just don't feel alive unless I do this kind of stuff. Like it's just too fun. I couldn't imagine doing anything else for a living. Tell me about this experience though, because it's kind of rad. Well, I wanted to be on the ground. I wanted to, you know, follow the race like I normally follow the race every year. I, I wanted to actually chase the race. And that's kind of one of the things I really like about this race is you essentially have to run your own race to follow a race. Some of the stuff I love about Larry's photos are that like, especially when he's doing it from the helicopter, you know, like this, the majority of this photo, this framework, I mean, we see the truck, 
but there's so much motion here without there actually being motion you can just like tell that somebody's just been just tearing ass through the desert you know and it's like just it's like lingering over in and kind of one of the things that I always focus on um, when I'm in the helicopter is I, I actually force myself not to bring a really long lens because I want to show the background more because like if I just wanted the car I could just get on the ground and I could just fill up the frame with the car you know but that's not the point you're not telling the story at that you know like with this for example I'm following Casey Curry it just tells that whole story you know like you would never be able to get this shot any other way other than from a helicopter just because of the angle and just to tell that whole story of the landscape and everything my favorites are these scenes where we're actually flying a lower elevation than the actual cars and I'm kind of like shooting upwards which is just such a crazy thing if you think about it I mean like and I, I'm not even shooting that tight either like this is 200 millimeters so we're kind on the same level or below them and we're really close to them let's let's talk composition on something like this and like yeah. why why it makes your favorite not just because you know you're obviously flying the trick here with this shot um, you can't physically create this on the ground because when you're on the ground and you try to shoot this same shot the background is going to be blurred as much as the foreground and the background might even be blurred more because what's happening here is we're moving the exact same speed as this guy maybe even faster and what I'm doing is uh, panning with him but the foreground is just passing you know, below us as fast as uh, we're flying, I guess, you know, so it's just such a weird thing that's happening. I mean, the background is perfectly still. So it's the stability that a helicopter allows because you're not going, you're not like driving next to it. Yeah, yeah, so we're floating through the air next to it. I think it's possible to do it with another car, but it would have to be a flat surface. It would have to be a road or something where it's perfectly flat and then you can achieve something like this because I was still shooting pretty slow shutter speed but you can see that the background and the mountains are perfectly sharp and the car of course is perfectly sharp. Thanks for sharing that with no, us man. No, your... Thank you and uh, thanks to Ultra 4 um, and King of the Hammers and of course Monster Energy for letting me practice my craft. Oh my goodness. Could you guys be more racist? <laughs> <laughs>